Hey guys, it's Stacy here with another video for you. Today we are going to finally take a look at the Rode Wireless Go. It is here. I'm very excited about this. I have a lot of microphones and I am always trying a new ones that are coming out. And this is one that I wanted really very much to try. And here it is. So uh, first of all, you are already hearing the wireless go on this recording because I am wearing it. Look at that. <laughs> it's attached to my bra and it's really very you know, discreet and I love it. Of course, you can use it also uh, on the outside, but if you can hide it under your clothes a little bit, it is perfect. So in the box, you will find the transmitter, which is the one that you wear on you because it has also a lavalier built in, which is perfect. Then you have the receiver. That is the unit that goes on the uh, camera. You also get uh, two charging cables, one for the receiver and one for the transmitter. So you can charge them at the same time. Um, you will get uh, two windscreens, as, as you can see. The windscreen is supposed to help you in windy situation. Although lots of videos out there are saying that the windscreen comes off very quickly. There is also a guy uh, called um, The Everything Man, very nice guy, very funny channel, you have to check him out. Uh, apparently he got a call from Rode because he made a, a video about the windscreen coming off very easily. So he got a call from Rode inviting him to help them develop a better windscreen. So this is something that I'm looking forward to. I really hope that they uh, find another solution because this really comes off very quickly. So you have to be careful if you're using it outside, it might come off. If you don't notice, you might end up losing it. This is probably why Rode gives you two instead of one because they probably know that you might lose one so there is a replacement there right in the box you also get very straightforward information on how to turn it on and connect to the camera a very small folder with uh, safety information and finally a little pouch for you to carry with you on your travels. The great thing about this microphone is that you can adjust the sound to your taste. So depending on the camera that you have, you know that you have to set it on manual. And then of course, some cameras work differently with sound. So it's always good for you to set your camera to manual and then test the microphone first for the best adjustment to your camera. This video is being recorded with the Canon M6. So the settings on the camera are very low and the microphone is, I believe, Believe is in the mid range. Uh, so this is what it sounds like. I am actually very happy with it. Also, the great thing about the wireless microphone is that you don't need to be close to the camera to have a good sound. As you can see here, my camera is quite far away from me. You can see a lot around me and you still can hear me very well. I also did a video on the Sennheiser wireless microphone, which is one of my favorite. That one is the one that I use on my other camera when I'm recording at home. Uh, the difference between this one and the Sennheiser is that this one is really wireless because the Sennheiser, even though it's also compact, you still have to connect the lavalier mic and the lavalier mic, mic has a wire that sometimes can be a little bit annoying. So for that, I prefer to use it in the house because then it's more comfortable. But if you are out and about, I think that the Rode Wireless Go will be a much better choice because it is really wireless as the lavalier is built in in the transmitter. So there is really no wire for you to worry about. And I think that is so amazing. The transmitter can be clipped under the clothes as you can see here. Obviously, depending on the clothes that you're wearing, if you are wearing like a high collar uh, uh, blouse, then you might have to uh, put it maybe around here in your neck, but you will always find a place to put that microphone. And obviously, because the transmitter also has a microphone input, if you prefer to still use a lavalier, then you can connect it and uh, put the transmitter in your pocket and then attach the lavalier because it's usually a little more discreet because of the size. But I don't think that this one uh, is really bad. I think it really looks very good. But the most important thing, of course, is the sound. 
Here you can see the receiver attached to the camera. I am actually using a different cable because this one is much shorter than the one provided by Rode. Uh, and this is also a very good quality cable. It makes the camera quite portable and easy to carry. I'm also planning to make another video using the wireless go on an iPhone and also some tests outside on a windy situation to see how the windscreen performs. So this was my very quick look at the Rode Wireless Go. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Stay tuned for other videos to come. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Have a fabulous day. Bye!